let us uh, revise the earlier video on stability conditions of first order linear difference equation so given a first order linear difference equation in this form that is yt is equal to b y t minus 1 plus a where a and b are the constants okay the general formula for definite solution for this linear equation that is first order uh, linear difference equation will be equal to yt is equal to y naught minus a upon 1 minus b times bt plus a upon 1 minus b okay now uh, if no initial condition is being given so in this place which is in the parenthesis i can write a so a times bt so this is also you know constant so in at at this place i can also write c so this equation reduces to a b raised power t plus c okay so we are taking the pay uh, that very case when b is not equal to zero if b is equal to zero then this reduces to you know uh, y t is equal to y naught plus a t i will not write it here okay so the general form okay uh, this is the time path or solution of this first order linear difference equation and i can write it in this fashion that is y t is equal to a b raised power t plus c okay so this first term on right hand side is called the complementary function and the second term on right hand side is called the particular solution okay now this uh, this c denotes the intertemporal equilibrium level of y and this uh, term denotes the deviation from their equilibrium okay now this uh, time path will be dynamically stable okay for dynamic stability this uh, first term on right hand side should converge towards zero as t tends to infinity that means yt will approach to the particular solution only when this term is equal to zero and this term when it is equal to zero as time tends to infinity we say our time path is dynamically stable if this does not converge towards zero our time path will be dynamically unstable okay so we are assuming a is equal to 1 c is equal to 0 in this equation that means yt is equal to bt only okay all depends upon the value of b for dynamic stability all depends upon this very b this very b okay now this b can generate seven different kinds of time paths as is being explained in the uh, in these seven graphs here okay now if the value of b is greater than zero then bt will increase we have the step function here in the sense we have the time intervals of discrete fashion that means we have discrete time interval here and we cannot use the continuous function here this is why we have these step kind step function okay if the value of b is greater than zero then bt increases at an increasing rate as t increases okay so it will explode if b is equal to one bt is equal to one so our uh, you know bt will be uh, a horizontal line if b lies between zero and one then b will be a positive function and it will converge towards zero i have explained this stuff in the earlier video you can check it out i have given the examples for each of these groups okay so uh, this seems that our time path should converge if b is equal to zero then bt will be obviously zero so we will get this straight line on the horizontal axis if b lies between negative one and zero bt is negative fraction okay and it will alternate the sinus first it will be positive then it will go negative positive negative five but it will try to converge if b is equal to negative one then we will have bt will oscillate between positive one and negative one okay forever if bt is less than negative one then bt will oscillate and move further and further away from a first it will go this then it will you know diverge it will not tend towards the uh, you know uh, rather it will not uh, tend towards the stability now all this stuff is being you know summarize it into four conditions that means if mod of b is greater than uh, greater than one then time path explodes okay if b is greater than one that means modulus of b is greater than one time path explodes and here you can see here b is you know 
if b is greater than 1 time path explodes in this case we have seen now if b is less than 1 okay mod of b time path converges and we can see the conversion is here conversion is here okay it here we have conversion it oscillates and here we have divergence here it explodes okay because mod of b is greater than 1 here now if the value of b is greater than 0 time path is oscillating here we can see time path oscillates if b is less than 0 time path sorry if b is greater than 0 time path is non oscillating so b greater than 0 means this very condition we can see time path does not oscillate at all or here also time path does not oscillate between you know positive counter quadrant to negative if b is less than one time path oscillators in this case in this case in this case okay so dynamic stability depends upon uh you know the value of b and we have four conditions if b is greater than zero time path explodes if b uh, that is modulus of b if modulus of b is less than zero time path converges b greater than zero it is non-oscillating that is time path is non-oscillating if b is less than zero time path oscillates okay so i explained this step in the earlier video in more detail you can check out that also okay thank you